guys, I'm in Brunswick, Ohio today, running around filming a few places, and I just came across this Steak and Shake, and uh, it appears to be closed down. I've heard that a lot of Steak and Shakes are actually closing, so let's just take a look at this place. It looks like they might have all the windows papered up or something, but let's check it out. I don't know, the sign up here says franchise this restaurant as if it's available. I see there's signs on the doors here, so we'll see what that says. Steak and Shake. I could go for some Steak and Shake right about now. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we decided to close the Steak and Shake, which is being designated for a franchise partner. So apparently this one's going to be opening back up. Um, reopen under a new franchise ownership. So apparently just somebody else is going to buy it and open it up as a Steak and Shake. Let's take a look inside. Hmm, all the tables are piled up. I could go for one of those milkshakes right now. Yum! Alright, let's walk around here. I believe they have a drive through Yeah. Yep. This is a pretty big building, man. Here's the drive through They got the same sign up over here. We'll take a peek in anyways, though. Just for the heck of it. Eh, kind of dark, but that's what it looks like. That must be more windows to the dining room. Oh, they got the the signs all whited out here. I know we're going through this drive through the opposite direction, but who cares? Yeah, they got everything taken down. All the signs, except for this one here that somebody tried to rip off. Who's like, I gotta have that? <laughs> oh my god, I could go for a Frisco burger. Oh, okay, look. They're not taken down, they're just turned backwards. So you can still see that the signs are in there, they're just backwards. Why would somebody like try to take this and not just take a sign? I mean, I'm not condoning stealing anything, but how strange. Maybe it was like some pissed off teenagers that came through and tried to order something and they were like, watch what I'm gonna do and tried to rip that off. Who knows? All right, yep. Nothing on that sign either. Not a whole lot to see here, guys. And it is cool that they are going to be opening, apparently under just another owner, as a Steak and Shake again, so you don't have to say goodbye to Steak and Shake if you're living in Brunswick. I don't know why they, why they would close down temporarily, like why the new owner wouldn't just take over. But they didn't, so... Alright guys, that's it. 